Welcome back to another episode of It Is What It Is podcast. I am your host, Cody Kelly. Look, connect with me on all social media platforms, IG at CVMK33, or subscribe, not or, but and or subscribe to the YouTube link below, YouTube at CV Space K. Connect on Anchor. Always, if you want to keep seeing amazing content, you know what you got to do. Supporter brother. This is how we get this stuff done. This is how we put out this amazing content. I would love to hear from you. Love to feel your support. Look, we have a great episode reviewing what happened during the NFL playoffs. I invited an amazing, talented, sports aficionado podcast. So I'm going to let him introduce himself. Barry, how you doing today, man? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm extremely grateful and blessed to be here. Let's start off with the miserable Chicago Bears. Like, I live in Chicago. Oh, man. Not a Bears fan uh, because, to me, the organization is ran like garbage. They lost. I agree with that. Absolutely. They lost nine to twenty-one. The reality is they didn't have a chance. They weren't going to be, beat Drew Brees, Drew Brees, Drew Brees, and the Saints. Even an age Drew Brees, the Bears does. They just don't have right. enough talent. They don't have enough at the helm to really kind of overthrow a juggernaut like that. Uh huh. But the reality is they shouldn't even been there in the first place. What does Chicago need to do going forward, Barry? So I think they need to get a new quarterback. I think they need to get someone else besides Mitch Trubisky. I think they need to get as far as new a new offensive core, a new offensive weapons on um, both wide receiver and running back. I mean, I like Allen Robinson a lot, but I don't know if y'all have the cap space to keep Allen Robinson and still add some other in, um, weapons to what you already have going to make you a better offense. You might as well let him go. I think you guys certainly need to reevaluate your offense and see uh, how you know you can, guys can get better from that side of the ball. I think that's the biggest, um, yeah, you know point and improvement that you guys can make uh, in, in, in order to take the next step. Yeah. So, because your defense is already pretty good. Like, you yeah. got Khalil Mack, you got other defensive playmakers that can certainly be able to make an impact in game-changing plays. So, if y'all want to keep him, maybe bring in another quarterback that can yeah. give him some competition. Uh, get rid of Nick Foles because he wasn't giving that competition. Like he wasn't that dude. Like he's he's look, not gonna bring y'all to the next level. Look, Deshaun like, Watson. Let, 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 let's just keep it real on this podcast. So Deshaun Watson then, is out there. Like he is. Yeah, you know what I mean, I'm saying. Like yeah. y'all got some weapons. If y'all can keep Jimmy Graham yeah. and um Alshon and no, excuse me, not Alshon. Uh, Al Allen Robinson, right. like maybe that will entice him to come. What what happened? I think the I think there was three, well, two real upsets. Um, I think the first upset was the Seahawks versus the Rams. Mm -hmm. Um, I personally had the Seahawks winning. They ended up in you know the regular season at twelve and four. Uh, mm -hmm. Rams ended up at ten and six. Uh, yeah. Russell Wilson was having an MVP like year. There was talk about him winning the MVP. Mm -hmm. He's never won the MVP. And he had, to me, the Seahawks had a very disappointing uh, performance. Uh, they ended up losing 30 to 20. Uh, they were not dynamic offensively. I think DK Metcalf only had three receptions. Uh, what what wow. happened? Why, why, when, why hasn't the Seahawks been that team in the playoffs? Like, they're great. Regular season wise, they are a great team, but when it comes to the playoffs, they haven't been the same since the year that they lost the Super Bowl to the Patriots. What is happening uh, in the Seahawks organization? Whew, it's a lot, man. Uh, 
Uh, they've got a great offensive talent in DK Metcalf. Uh, they've also got another great offensive talent in uh, Tyler Lockett. Shout out to him. But I think they haven't been able to uh, get the pieces to build around those guys. Uh, they haven't been able to get the consistent running game that they need. I know they're a running football team and like to run the football and play play action. And as you know, watching football, if you can't run the football and establish the running game, you can't run play action. So I think with not, not, not being able to do that, that's hindered their offense and that's held, you know, DK Metcalf back uh, right. because, you know, the top corner of the other team has been – you know, if they have a really good corner, they've been able to to hold him back and not really be able to do him able to do as much as we've seen. Uh, we've seen him do well against the corners that aren't as good, right? And aren't you know at the top of the league. But once he gets to the corners that are, you know, really good and are really at the best at what they do. Yeah. There's you know, he 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 certainly is not as effective. So you know, as we saw this weekend with Jalen Ramsey. So I think what the Seahawks offense needs to do is they need to get new running backs that can be able to establish their running game and be able to get the, you know, not only the running game going, but the play action pass. I think that's what they need to address this off season. And I think they need to also add another weapon, another consistent weapon to the offense. Cause yeah, as far as um, not only being an NFC contender, right. but also being a, and then, you know, getting out of the NFC and moving towards the Super Bowl and winning the championship. So yeah. that 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 thing with the Seahawks, that's what it comes down to. I think they're missing one more piece that will get them over the hump. Let's let's go here. Uh, last question. You know, I think people are making too much out of the Browns win over the Steelers. I think the Steelers have a great coaching staff. They have a great organization. Uh, I think Ben Roethlisberger should retire. I think they're just a little over the hill. They're solid, but they're not dynamic. They ran into a team that was young, that was motivated, that was energized, and they gave them their best punch, and they won uh, by nine points, right? Uh, so uh, as, as great as the Browns' victory is, uh, I don't see it continuing. I think the real story here really? is – I, I, just really? don't, I just don't think Baker Mayfield is going to go that much further. I think uh, next round exit uh, is the is the the truth. Uh, <laughs> when it comes wow. to the Ravens. It, it's just because he's playing the Chiefs next round? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, it's, it's a No, it's a I'll, I'll give you that. I, I don't yeah. think the Browns are ready to beat the Chiefs. I'll definitely no. give you that. Are the Ravens ready to take that next step? They've been knocking at the door. They've been clawing Lamar Jackson. I mean, they have literally been scrambling for it. They signed Des Bryant. Are the Ravens legit or or does it end on Sunday? So that as much as I like the Buffalo Bills and what I've been seeing from them uh, all season and you know, and even to what we saw against the Colts, that they're actually going to beat the Bills that, yeah, I, no, I actually see what, you know, people are saying and that the the Ravens, I, I actually predicted the Ravens are going to beat the Bills and move on to the AFC championship game. So I think that the Ravens against the Bills, obviously, which is going to be uh, the matchup, I, I think the, the Ravens have a good, chance and a good shot to beat the Baltimore Ravens. I think the, I mean to be the the Buffalo oh, Bills, excuse me, when they play the Baltimore Ravens. So, 
the Ravens actually beat them into uh you know their own game into their you know what we you know we've seen the Tennessee Titans do to this point so I think that they've certainly have proven that they can uh not only do that on one round but they can ex- be able to establish that and uh and do that against the Buffalo Bills is what they want to do moving forward. But I think the Baltimore Ravens are, you know, more ready to win now and then play. So uh, I think that that's where we're at with those teams. Yeah. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing that, uh, you know, with this, with this following week. Awesome, awesome. Well, look, Barry, I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much for being a guest on here. On at is thank you, thank you for having me, man. Uh, anytime, I appreciate man. you having me. So, yeah, uh, it's definitely a blessing. And uh, man, my friend, bigger and better things. Pro fan sports connect with Barry. He is amazing, guys. Until next time, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's true. Salute.